guys, hello, hello. It is tea time Tuesday. Tea time Tuesday. Tea time Tuesday. Okay. Tea time Tuesday today. <laughs> so today we're talking about running. Half marathon training. in Becky's cup today. What's in my cute cup? It's crazy. All right, so today, black cherry berry. This is another one of the, the fruit, tea, caffeine-free, celestial seasonings. Seriously, you guys, I cannot get enough of this stuff. So good. All right, let's get into it. So I have my training plan right here in front of me on my computer and I'm gonna like kind of give you the gist of it. Um, basically, I started back the very first week of May is when my training started. So up until my first week of training, I had been doing like one mile runs and then the next week I'd do like two mile runs or three mile runs and just kind of up one mile each week. So I started out with one mile. And that was kind of like a rock walk run type of thing. And then the next week I did two miles and the next week I did three. So I was only running like two days a week um, up until my first week of training. So week one I was running three days a week and one of those days was a five mile run and then two of those days was a lighter run anywhere from like two to four miles and then week two I was up to running four days a week and one of those days again was a longer run which was six miles and then the next week I was up to seven miles one day a week three days being a lighter run and then week five I was up to eight miles and I was feeling really proud at that point <laughs> and then again three of those days was a lighter run and then the next week was the same, eight miles, three laters, three laters. And then the next week I was down to seven. So it kind of went up and down, it's gone up and down a few times. Um, I couldn't like technically tell you the reason for that. <laughs> like my brother could because he made this plan and he's like the marathon whiz, like the running whiz. You ask him any question about running, he knows it. Um, <laughs> but that that's just the plan. I'm just giving you guys the, the plan. And um, week seven, I also did my first, what we call a fart look. And basically what a fart look is, it's kind of like hit training, like interval training. So um, you run really fast for like 30 seconds and then you're at a lighter jog for 60 seconds or you run really fast for 60 seconds and then you're at a lighter jog for 90 seconds then you do another 60 and then a 90, a 60, 90 and you keep on going for three miles straight. So that just kind of builds up your endurance gets your speed up a little bit um, and I can tell you that the week after I did the fart lick like I felt like I was faster I felt like I had shaved off like 20 seconds at least of each mile so <laughs> that next week I was doing nine miles so week eight was up to nine miles so it went from eight to seven to nine miles and like I said I felt like I shaved off like 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds of each mile. I had three more days of lighter, of course. And then week nine, I was up to 10 miles. 10 miles. <laughs> like that was, that was a hard run. I can tell you that that was a hard run for me. Um, and it was the first run that I actually had a gel. Um, so I, halfway through the run at five miles, I um, downed in endurance gel and I use the, the Vega Sport gels because their number one ingredient is dates and I want it, I want it as real and whole as possible so 
that's what I had and the gel really helped keep my you know energy going and it kind of brought it up for a little bit and then it kind of went down um, and that's the first issue that I had with my blood sugars was at about eight between eight and nine miles my blood sugars started going low so with that I learned that okay I need another gel at this point I need another gel around eight miles so I had one at five miles and I knew that I needed one at eight <laughs> so that being said the next week I did 11 miles and I was prepared I got a brand new like belt that I wore around my waist and it could it had a pocket in it and a zipper pocket so I put two gels in there and I ran I was feeling so good on that run you guys I was feeling amazing and my bracelet is driving me bonkers I'm just gonna take it off sorry guys <laughs> um, so I was feeling really good um, and at, again at five miles I had actually a half of a gel so this was my plan to have half a gel at my five mile point and then I had another half of a gel half of that gel um, at the eight mile point so it's kind of like three miles in between you know a little more burst of energy carbohydrates to get me to finish I was feeling so good up until my eighth mile that's when my energy was like like my feet started dragging and like I barely made that last 11th mile. It was hard, <laughs> but I finished it and I was proud of myself. I also did that week, week 10 of the 11th mile. The 11th mile, it sounds like a movie title or something. But um, I did another fart lick. And so I did five miles of fart lick that week. And I also did three more runs, three more lighter runs. And those runs were anywhere from three to six miles. My choice, how I was feeling. <laughs> and then the next week, week 11, I was back down to 10 miles. And then week 12 was 12 miles, 12 miles. Like that was, that was rough. That was rough but it was kind of like the same thing like I was feeling good up until like the ninth mile and then my energy just went like psh. my legs were like boo, 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 like jello <laughs> like, I can't do this but I did it again I finished it I set my mind to something and I finished and then another four days of a lighter run every other week I had a rest day so one day Every other week I would have a rest day and I would just, you know, go on a leisure walk, a light walk, or do some yoga, you know, do some stretching, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the days that I wasn't running and I wasn't resting, I was doing cross training. So that's stuff like um, I was doing some strength training with, you know, my arms and my abs and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> Cause you really are, running is a leg day. You're working pretty much every single muscle in your leg, everything, even your hips and your butt. Like my butt has gotten so big, you guys. <laughs> like the muscles in it, like I, I can actually say that my butt is probably my favorite part of my body because yes, it doesn't really, fit into some of my pants anymore <laughs> but I like my butt it's like lifted and it's strong and I, I like my butt so where we're at right now is week 13 week 13 week 13 means 13 miles I have 13 miles to run this week you guys that's a half marathon like who thunk this girl that accidentally ran five miles one day and said I'll never run more than that to running 13 miles Pfft. how do you do that <laughs> am I crazy I think I'm crazy this week I've got 13 miles to run and four 
lighter runs. And then I've just got two more weeks to go, you guys. I'll, I'll do another video talking about, um, you know, my whole experience and what I was feeling during this and, and just at the end of it, after race day, I'll do another Tea Time Tuesday maybe of talking just about, you know, preparing and how I was feeling and that kind of stuff. But this is my training plan, you guys. This is my training plan. And I can tell you that <laughs> I'm at the point where I feel like a runner. Like, there are some runs where I feel like I could run forever. I could run. I could do this all day long. Sure, I couldn't, but, you know, I, f I feel like that in the moment, you know, like, it, it's awesome. Running feels amazing. And so if you guys want to do something crazy like this to a half marathon or a full marathon and be really crazy, <laughs> then I want you to, to just do it. Just sign up, you know, sign that waiver or whatever and pay the fee. That fee will get you to training. <laughs> That fee will get you to that race. It got me there. So that's what I got for you guys. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you're ever thinking about running a half marathon, I'm sorry guys, I'm so stuffy still. Um, if you're ever thinking about running a half marathon, um, if you guys want a hold of this plan, I'd love to send it to you. So um, again, just contact me and I'll just send it your way um anyway that's all i got for you guys today hope you i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i want to i want to hear from you comment below are you a runner are you training for anything right now you got any races in the in the works or do you just hate running you just hate running you know maybe just watching me run is just enough exertion for your for yourself and if you guys want to see more from me, if you guys want to join me on race day, I'm going to have my camera, obviously, with me on race day in a few weeks. can't believe it's like three weeks away. Like, no, like two and a half weeks away. Like, wow! Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more, if you like what I'm doing here. And share this with your friends. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Go spread some happy.